In this video, we're going to have a look at the action bar in Android and how this action bar can actually help you in your applications. So the first thing I'm going to do just to demonstrate today what you can do with the action bar, I'm going to add a new image. So you can choose any image. I'm just going to go with uh, the normal Chrome image uh, and you can you can distribute this. This is not uh, breaking any laws to use this image. So it's chrome.png. And then I'm going to go with none there. So your picture will look something like this. And I'm going to say next. Uh, let me just go back and not call it IC Launcher. Let's call this Chrome. And say next. And say finish. Right, so if we've got the picture there in the MIP map folder. And now the next thing that we need to do in order to show the action bar is we need to have a menu system going here. So we're going to go right click on the resources folder, go to new and go to directory. And you must name this directly exactly as I've got it there. All lowercase and it's called the menu and say OK. So if you go into the menu folder now, we're going to say and go and say new menu resource file. And that menu resource file, I'm going to call main and say OK. So normally you call the menu resource file the same as you call your activity so that the two link up together. So in the main activity, I'll have a menu system called main and that menu system will become my action bar. So if I open up main XML, and I go to the text part, you'll see that we've got a menu tag. And inside of that menu tag, we need to have some item tags. So I'm going to have an item tag there. And I'm going to give it an Android ID there. So let's give this an ID of, and it's a plus ID. Let's call this one refresh, just to, to add a few items in your action bar. Let's call this one refresh. And we give it a title. And let's give it a title of, uh, let's call it refresh as well. And then I'm also going to give it an order in the category and I'm going to get back to the order in the category. I'm just going to leave it as 100 now. And then I need to have app show as action. And that app, we need to have an alt enter there to actually uh, import that one. So we're going to show it as an action uh, if there's room. So I'm going to get back to that one as well. And then we also need an icon property, but I'm going to get to the icon property as well now. So let me just close down this and let's add some more pictures there. If we go to design now, you can see if we zoom in, I have a refresh button there in the action bar. Okay, so there's the action bar. I've got a refresh button. If I go back to text, you can see that there's the text that I've referenced as the title and that title title there will be displayed at the top there's also some other uses for the title if you start showing pictures so let's uh let's do this a few times i'm going to copy this one paste again let's just do three of them so we're going to have tried to get a refresh picture we're going to try to get the download picture or some type of download picture and we're going to try to get a send type of picture so let's uh, call that one download also. And we call this one send. So if I go to design, you can see that I've got buttons now at the top. Refresh, download and send. Although these buttons won't work if I run the application now because there's some more that we need to set up. So let's quickly go and see if we can add some more pictures there. So in the resources folder, I'm going to go to a vector asset. And let's search for a different icon there. So let's see if we can get uh, something like a download. Let's use that one as a download picture. And I'm going to call that download. Say next and finish. And let's go and search for another one for the vector asset. Let's see if we've under we've got something like send here okay so under content we've got the send picture there let's just call that one send 
and then we need something like a refresh button so I'm going to go to new vector asset again and let's just search, search for a type of a refresh icon there we go so let's use that one and we call that one refresh say next say finish and there we go okay so now what we can add as part of these so you can see in the design at this stage we can see the words the titles that we've given them in the action bar so uh, the next part what we're going to add there is to add the icon property and for the icon property all of ours are in the drawable folder and in drawable we've got download refresh and send so for the first one we're going to use refresh and you can see the picture on the left hand side showing for the second one let's also use a drawable and for that one it's going to be download and for the last one there we will use the send one so you can see the three different pictures there and if I go to design now instead of showing your your text there we are now showing the pictures so they act as buttons and the pictures are there at the top as as buttons now and now the nice thing about this title property and, and it's it's underlining it like this or giving it as yellow there because you should actually put this in your in your strings XML file but in any case just this is just an example so we've got these pictures and then the nice thing about the title is that if the user holds down on one of these buttons it will show the title to him also if there's not enough space for all of your items in the action bar it's going to go into the overflow menu that's normally on the right hand side and indicated by three dots there and then it shows only the titles and not the pictures there so it's very important that you must have the title property there okay so let's just quickly have a look in the order in category so the order in category is how you can how you can order these items in the action bar so let's say we want to have the send button that uh, should be first so then for the send button I'm gonna have 100 let's say download we want to have second so then I'm gonna make that one 101 and I'm gonna make that one 102 so you can see send is then first download second and refresh third so that's the order in category then the the show as action you can say always or you can say show if there's room or you can also choose never so there's three options to say when I should actually show this item in the action bar if I say never then it means that you can see there's the three dots now that specific refresh button will not be in the action bar but it will always be in the overflow menu and there you can see the title refresh so you can go and play around with that but uh, normally we'll say if there's room um, I'm gonna say if there's room and for that one also if there's room so on the design part it it seems as if there's not enough room but actually there is so at this stage we've designed how we want our action bar to look but you can see it's black on blue so probably not that good uh, so let's just quickly go and change and that's the nice thing about the vector assets is you can go and change the color so let's change this color to uh, one, two, three, four, five, six Fs, which is white. For refresh, also one, two, three, four, five, six Fs, and for the send one as well, one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's just save everything, and let's go back to just close down these. Let's go back to main XML to the design, and it should now actually display white let me just refresh quickly okay so there we have it running but you can see while it's running now we've got nothing in the action bar so in the main you can see it's now white uh, so the pictures colors has changed to white so that's fine but it's not showing at all in in uh, the app when we actually start running it it's not showing at all so what we need to do is to go into the main activity and add a method here that will help us to set this menu XML file or sorry this uh, main XML file in the menu folder as the the action bar item or the the menu item that we want for this specific activity so the method that we want to use here is the on create options menu so I'm going to go to on create options menu there it is 
choose it and you'll get something like this. So let's just uh, keep the return there. And what we want to do here is to call get menu inflator. And we want to inflate a specific resource file. So it's going to be R, it's in the resources, dot menu folder, dot main dot XML. So that's the one that we want to inflate. And then just pass along this menu that was passed in as the menu for the main activity. So the menu for the main activity should be R dot menu dot main. And for the rest, it can stay the same. So if we run this again, let's just see how it displays. You can see there's the action bar items now nicely displayed. So the only thing you need to actually start displaying your action bar items will be this method and then your main XML file or your file where you've got all of your items for the pictures. Okay, so then in the main activity, we can now take it a step further to say, okay, let's use this now as buttons. And if I click one of these items, it should actually do something. So in order to do that, you need the on options item selected method. So you're going to go to code over override methods and search for on options item selected method. So there's the on options item selected method. And you can see there it pass along it pass along the menu item itself. So that's basically passing along this object, which is the item that was clicked. So it's either this item or this one or this one that was clicked. And all of them has got an ID, so we can reference that by a specific ID. This one is refresh, that one is download, this one is, is sent. So in the options item selected, we're going to use a switch that can help us with this. Using that item that was passed through and getting the item ID. So getting the item ID will now return for that specific ID, for that specific item object. It will return either refresh, download, or send. And that's the ones that we can go and search for. So the first case is if the ID is download. So there's the download one. Let's just show a simple toast there. So I'm going to say, say toast and let's say just download clicked. And then we're going to break. For the next case, we're going to test for the ID to be, let's say, refresh. And let's just say toast. And we say refresh clicked. And then we break. And then we'll have case r.id. The other one was send. And then show toast. Send clicked. And then just breaking there. Okay, so that's the switch that we're going to use. So let's just run it again and see how that works. So if it's if the ID for the item that was clicked is download, we're going to show download clicked. If it's refresh, we're going to show refresh clicked. If it's send, we're going to show send clicked. So let's just click on it. Send clicked. Click on that one. Download clicked. Click on that one. Refresh clicked. So that's how you handle the actions on clicking actually on any one of those action bar items. Uh, let me just show you something else. Remember the title. If I hold down on the button, instead of just clicking it, you can see it says send. If I hold down on that one, it says download. So that's again showing me the title. So it's either refresh, download, or send. And uh, if you go back to the app, it's now actually working exactly like we want to have it working. Everything is set up and ready to go. But let's say we want to also display something else there. We don't want to show action bar video there, which is the, the actually the name of our application. Uh, and remember, you can you can actually go and change the name of your application uh, in the strings XML. So in strings XML, you can change that. And on every single activity, you'll have whatever you have there as the top there, unless you change it in coding. So let's go to the main activity again in the on create and let's just add some some coding here so we're going to say action bar and make sure you use um, the support version 7.1 so it's going to be action bar and let's just call it action bar as well equals 
And instead of saying new action bar, we're going to call get support action bar, which gets us the support action bar so that we can support different phones. And then on this action bar, we can do a few things now. We can go and call set icon. So we're going to use the set icon method to set that uh, Chrome icon that we uh, downloaded. So I'm going to say r dot, and that Chrome is in mipmap folder. Let's just say r dot mipmap dot, and there's the Chrome picture. And you can see it shows you on the left hand side. So we set the icon. Uh, so basically, if we run this, and I don't think it's going to show now. If you run this, you can see nothing shows at this stage. But we want to have that picture there of the Chrome picture there and then some text. So that's how we set the icon. And then let's also set um, the title and that's setting the text now. So I'm going to set the title as I'm going to use a space there. Welcome. Uh, you'll see why I put the space there so that there's a space between the picture and the text. So we're going to set the title and then for that picture to show, we need to call set display use logo enabled and pass in true there so that the logo will show. Also, we need to call set display show home enabled. And that one should also be true. Without those two lines of coding, your picture will not show correctly. So if we uh, play this now, run it again, you can see that we've got the Chrome picture now, a little space there, and then welcome. So on any one of your activities, you can actually go and customize it with your own picture and your own text there, with obviously the rest of the button still working 100%. So let's say, I don't know if you guys seen this, but uh, on some of the applications, we've got a back button there. So if I go to a new activity and I want to come back to this one, there's a back button in the action bar. So let's see how we can do something like that. I'm going to create a new activity and go to new activity, empty activity. And then let's just leave it at main to activity. That's fine. And say finish. So in the main two activity, we want to do the following. I'm going to also use the same action bar there. So I'm going to use the same coding there and just kind of copy and paste it there for this activity. Uh, let's just say OK there. And let's call this one uh, second activity. And also show the, the icon and also do the same thing. Now in order for this one to work and to have the back button at the top, you need to add another line of coding here, and that is calling action bar dot set display home as up enabled and send in true there. So if we now run it, uh, obviously nothing will happen because we don't get to this specific activity. So let's just go to the main activity. And for the main activity, let's say the download button will take us to that specific activity. So we're going to say start activity, uh, new intent, first argument, just the content, alt enter, uh, alt enter for the import, first argument, the context, second argument, the class you want to start, and that's called main to activity dot class that we want to start. So let's run this again. Okay, so if we click now on the on the send button, nothing happens because we need to click on the download button. So if you click on the download button, it takes you to the second activity. You can see there's no action bar items and it's got the back button there now. So that's the show as up enabled. That's uh, that's adding that little back button there. But if you click it, nothing at all happens. So there's something more that we need to do, and that needs to do. You need to do this in the Android manifest file. So in the Android manifest file, for this main activity, you need to go and add some metadata. So let's go and call it uh, metadata. The name there, the name property there, must be Android dot support dot parent activity so make sure you spell this correctly android dot support dot parent activity and then 
the next part that we need there as part of the metadata is the value. So we're going to add Android value there. And now I'm going to choose the main activity as the activity that will be the parent activity for activity 2. So for main 2 activity, the parent activity is main activity, which means that that back button will go back to the parent activity, in this case, main activity. So if I run this now, let's see how this works now. If I click on the download button, it goes to the second activity. If I click on the back button now, it goes back to the main activity. So it goes back to whatever activity I indicate there as the value. So in this case, working nicely, going to the second activity, clicking back, going back to the welcome screen or the main activity. So this is just the basics of the Android Action Bar. I hope you've enjoyed this video.